Let me see. Welcome here. to the <laughs> podcast. Wow, that that really ran out I'll... of steam quickly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Welcome to, to the uh, um, what is what are Welcome we to whatever we're calling this podcast today. What the CSID that? What the uh, yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Welcome to what the dang it. Welcome. <laughs> what is this? Is I seen that? This is I seen that. Yes. Here we go. You're listening to I Seen That. And if you haven't given up so far, just based on that first minute <laughs> of absolute nonsense, it's, we appreciate it. And it's going to get, it's not going to get better. It's going to probably stay at that level. Yeah. Taylor and Alan talking about movies. They may be best friends, but they always disagree. Well, this movie, right. this movie, yeah. came out in the year 2014. Oh, okay. The world was a different place. It was younger. Very it much. had less emissions. Probably less people. Okay. Uh, fewer, yes. Uh, Barack Obama was still the president of the United States of America. He was barely hanging on. Um. Can't think of anything else that was going on in 2014. Um, I had children that year. No one cares about that part. Unnotable. Yes, like I said, nothing else was really going on. <laughs> um, but Daddy. Uh, All right, we're gonna have to take a commercial break. <laughs> Don't touch your dials. I seen that. We'll be right back. <laughs> And we're back, everybody. Wow, that was like no time at all for people who are listening, but that really felt like a long time to me. What a great sponsor that was. <laughs> um, class- where were we? Oh, Barack Obama. Michelle Obama. Something that their, ki- their kids are named. What are their kids' names? Sasha. Sasha, and, Baron, Cohen, and- Obama. So I was thinking and Cohen. <laughs> Okay. I'm not sure you guys names. Let's see here. Let us see. What do you see. got? Have we done this you one? got some trip? Uh, yes. <laughs> that would be sad if we've done this one. Uh, Cooper's first name is never revealed throughout the entire film. Uh, I feel like we have. That sounds familiar. I feel like not only have we done this one, but you did that trivia. Well, that would make sense why I have it written down. Let me double check and make sure we haven't done this. <laughs> Do you know uh, what movie it is? No, I'm I'm trying to remember. I I feel like it was one that I hadn't seen. Did Read we, me another one. Hang on, let me let me see if it's because that's gonna not be uh, good uh, if uh, I just <laughs> if I've just forgotten <laughs> things that we've done already. Yes. We have quite a few. Yeah, we've done a bunch. We have over 31 posted right now. Do we really? Yeah. With only nine episodes downloaded. <laughs> yeah, we got nine nine downloads. In... And they're just... By me, I didn't realize what was happening. <laughs> I kept accidentally downloading the same episode. Okay, so I don't see it. All right, well, maybe we didn't do it. I don't see it as an episode. It might be one we started and then we decided to not do. But uh, you, let's see. Let's do some more trips. For a cornfield scene, the director sought to grow 500 acres of corn, which he learned was feasible from, his, from producing Man of Steel. The corn was then sold and actually made a profit. From producing Man of Steel... So it was after. Oh, you, say, you already said it was 2014. I said it was 2 uh, ot 1 4. Correct. Um, is it a Zack Snyder movie? Steven Spielberg, who was attached uh, to direct keyboard. the film in 2006, hired the director's brother to write the screenplay. 
chose another project instead, and in 2012, after Spielberg's departure, the brother suggested his brother to be the director. Guardians of the Galaxy. Nope. No, I'm trying to think of something with Cooper. Do you think that Spielberg was going to direct Guardians of the Galaxy? If he wanted to. I guess that's true. No. I don't know. Um, we did talk about this, though. Did we? Did this episode just never make it up? Did I lose the files? <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, give me one more trivia if you got any. Okay. Uh, the wormhole explanation using the paper and pen is exactly the same as it appears in Event Horizon. Was it a looper? No. It's Interstellar. Oh, Interstellar. Yeah, we did talk about this. Why is it? I don't know if we did an episode on it, though. I, I'm like, I'm having like this <laughs> deja vu moment where I can't figure out is what's going on in the world. Is it a momento moment? Yeah, I'm having a mimintinimo moment. A mimi. A mimi nimto. Mimi minuto. I feel like we did do this one. And, like, I can't rely on you to tell me the truth. I'm going to look. The reason I even want to talk about it, which is probably the same reason I wanted to talk about it the last time, was because okay. I, living in Thailand, I went to go see it in the movie theater. But I, it wasn't in English. It was in Thai. And so I went and saw it in Thai. Then I came home. So it's like a three-hour movie, right? It's super long. Yeah came home i had to read a bunch of stuff to try to understand what was going on because i can speak thai somewhat but i'm not like fluent so like all these like (laughs) deep concepts i like had no idea what was going on and so i had to read a bunch of stuff about it still didn't understand it then i watched it in english right after so i spent like nine hours in one day focused on interstellar just trying to figure out what happened i'm gonna go and say that we've had that exact conversation You've told that story, but I think we should push forward anyways and then play the podcast side by side and see how much they parallel. Yeah. Because I remember you telling me that story, but I don't know if it was on the podcast or not. Yeah, I don't remember. I can't find any episodes on Interstellar. This is a disaster. <laughs> this might be the end of the podcast. This, I don't know. Yeah, we we've, recovered we've hit a loop. We're like in a time loop now. We're in our own wormhole. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Now I'm afraid I'm just going to repeat myself about everything. Let's talk about Spider-Man 2. We haven't talked about Spider-Man 2 yet. Have you seen it yet? Again? Yes. No. Then there's no point. (laughs) Well, my point was we've talked about it like five times. Yeah, that's true. Because it's the greatest. Um, well... I don't know what to say. we talked about this one. I remember talking about being depressed about the uh, about time jump, the time thing, yeah. right? But was that so, was that an episode for Interstellar, or was that were we just talking about something else? It's hard to tell because we have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> we have no structure. We just talk about ten movies at once. <laughs> I can't even like if I go over the list of the movies we've talked about. I can't imagine right. which one would bring us to Interstellar unless it was the Dark Knight when we were talking about Christopher Nolan. Uh, maybe. Uh, or maybe I it's Memento. We... Did we talk about it during <sighs> Memento? Or is it possible that I just lost these files? Because I have this this suspicion that uh, we're missing like five episodes somewhere and I can't find oh, them. Five episodes? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Welcome to I seen that episode one of the Lost Files. This I, episode is if it's filler. I think we did, you know, however many we did one day, and I think I just lost that entire day. How is that possible? That's very irresponsible. I agree. Also, you know how much money that costs to produce these. <laughs> also, I remember how I'm the only one who produces any of these. So, yes, but you know how much my time is worth? Not much. It's a negative. <laughs> I should be paying people. <laughs> I agree. Please, I will pay anything to let me just hang around. <laughs> that's what your mom used to do when you were a kid. Yeah, that's how it's been my whole life. Yeah, she would give us... Yeah, I don't know. I, I have no idea. Let's, I really um... feel like we, we did do this one. 
Yeah, I do too. This is this is a disaster. Well, like if, I have another one if you want to do it. Sure. Um, I'm gonna leave. That's gonna be the beginning of this episode. Us not knowing what we're talking about. Us almost talking about Interstellar. And then all the people listening are like, yeah, I'm a devout fan. You guys have never done anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I think that you've seen this movie, but I'm going to start out by saying, welcome to I've Seen That. <laughs> Fresh start. Podcast where we're not sure if we've even seen some of these movies, <laughs> and we're definitely not sure if we've talked about them before on this podcast. Maybe even as close as two to three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure. But I, I know that I heard you tell that story, and I know that I remember that trivia. Well, the thing also is we were doing a podcast when that happened, weren't we? Wasn't that when we were doing What the Dub? When we talked about Interstellar? Uh, when when we were doing What the Dub, wasn't that at the time Interstellar came out? Because I might have just told you that story on that podcast. Like, hey, this happened. Oh, maybe. But... 2014. Yeah, it could be possible. It was right I think around we then. Yeah. Anyways, doesn't matter. You got a movie. So. Oh man, I forgot. <laughs> I was just about to say something. I, I think it'll be funny if we find these tapes and then we hear you read your trivia, and then I also say, "Is it Looper?" Because I feel like I've said that before. Because uh, as know. soon as before I said it, mm -hmm. I remember in my head thinking, I think we did Looper already. See, because I have a list of movies. Outsiders, this is unprecedented disaster. I don't know if it's unprecedented, but it is a disaster. Unprecedented. All right, let's go. Let's move on with your movie. Is it Looper? All right, so here Is we go. Is that the one you chose? What's that? Did you choose Looper? Yeah, it's Looper. Uh, actually, this week I chose Interstellar. Oh. We're going to cover it just so we have our face <laughs> covered no matter that, what. I wish you would have done that. That would have been that would have been so funny to go through all that horrible awkwardness and then still just <laughs> talk about Interstellar. Talk about Interstellar. Uh, okay, so I have got some trivias. Okay. Uh, producer Tina Fey confessed that when casting the film, she locked, she liked Jonathan Bennett because he looked like Jimmy Fallon. Uh, then we got uh, Mean Girls. There you go, you got it. Mm. Tis Mean Girls. Have you seen this? Yes. Thoughts. It is. Not one that I care about, but it was funny. Really? this is a, I think this is a funny movie. It's a widely funny movie, I think. Like, it's not just me. Um, no, yeah, I think a lot of people like this movie. I, I don't really care for it that much. Like, it's fine, but I saw it, you know, maybe twice, but I, it's not one that I'm like, oh, I... I well, I've probably seen this movie ten times. Yeah. How do you not like a movie that's got oh, the janitors from Scrubs? Um, he doesn't really do anything in it. He talks a little bit. A little bit. He's got a couple lines. But he, yeah, I mean, that's kind of, that's my definition of not really doing anything. True. Um, basically, this movie's about a bunch of mean girls. That's and then accurate. they're just mean to everybody. And the end that's true i've lost all my passion for this podcast already Be, not not this episode the podcast as a whole now that we've uh hit this interstellar loop i'm like oh are, we've made terrible life choices all right i'm calling mean girls off we're going to interstellar <laughs> we need to close this storyline this is an arc that's gone on for multiple episodes now yeah what are your thoughts on Interstellar? Um, it is, it's bonkers. It doesn't make a lot of sense, and no, I think it I understood it better when I watched it in Thai. 
than when I watched it in English. I was really confused at the end. Now, I've only seen this once, so I'm trying to remember. When he was, like, in the books or See, something like that? this is why... Okay, sorry. I, I'm going to interrupt you, but I'm going to just keep going. The reason Class. why I think uh, it was for What the Dub, maybe it was CSIDK, was because I got the idea for that show based on that time I saw Interstellar. Because I saw Interstellar in Thai, didn't uh, understand what they s- said, but I like yeah. I made everything make sense in my head. So I was like, "Hey, let's let's watch TV shows in German and try to figure out what's going on, and see if we're right." That could be. No, I think you're onto something here. But I also we remember may actually get our closure. <laughs> I also remember uh, us talking about the uh, time jumping. On this podcast, I just don't know when we did that. I know that we've at least spoken about it. Yeah. But I could have swore you read me that trivia before. Yeah, I feel like I did, too. We're going to keep going. I don't even care. (laughs) What is the deal with him in, in like, the bookcase at the end? Where is he? That is the Tesseract. Okay. Yep. That's about all the information they give That's all you're going to give me? Well, that's all the information they give you. Oh, yeah, you're right. That explains it. Yeah. I got it all now. <laughs> it's like, it's the, the fourth or fifth dimension that the creators of the universe who weren't God, but were more superior beings than humans, they created it for him to communicate with his daughter. Just for him. <laughs> yeah, but the idea was like, it wasn't that big of a deal for them. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. If, um. I'm trying to, I don't know what you would compare it to, but like if a human made something for a dog, right? Like a, a bed or, you know what I mean? Like, say, right. you know, like but a, it was groundbreaking <clears throat> for the dog. Yeah. The dog could never us, it do it. Nothing. Yeah, exactly. That's the point I'm trying to make. Like it was, we are just a bunch of dogs <clears throat> basically living in this universe of men. Yeah. Sniffing each other's butts. Uh, speak for yourself. <laughs> But yeah, that's true. But yeah, um, it does, also it I was make a little a boggled by the end world that was curved. Well, that was a spaceship. Oh well, that makes more sense. They created gravity. She figured out the um, the daughter figured out the calculations to create gravity, and that's what um, Cooper. Matthew McConaughey sends back to his daughter in the bookcase. So when he, I gotcha. When he's shaking the books and it's <laughs> knocking dust down, he's sending yeah. her Morse code of the the calculation for gravity. And so in doing that and creating gravity, they were able to build a spaceship that they could live on um, indefinitely. I guess I, I think it was gravity. I'm pretty sure it's gravity. Now remind me what was happening to Earth. Uh, I think the crops couldn't grow. I don't remember. So, like, I remember there was, they mentioned at one point, like, so they're corn farmers, right? And Uh their friends were growing wheat or something like that. And they're like, well, wheat's not coming in now. It, you know, it it seems like it's dried up. Like, the, that's why you shouldn't have invested all your money into that one thing. This family's now broke and stuff like that. Like, everything is just like going away and they're running out of things that they can produce. But I I don't remember what it was. I think it was, um, storm, like those dust storms, something with that. Yeah. 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 You're right. Do you think this is a prequel Um, to the new Mad Max movie? I thought it was a prequel to the Martian. That (laughs) earth becomes Mars. No, just that Matt Damon is an astronaut. Or maybe it's a sequel to The Martian. Have you seen The Martian? Yeah. So he makes it back and then decides, now that he's been to Mars, it's not enough. He needs to discover new planets. And then he does and gets stuck again. They try to bring him home and it doesn't work out for him. Gotcha. I forgot that he was in Interstellar as well. I was like, what are you talking about? He's only in that like, it was so weird because, like, you hardly ever see Matt Damon in a side role, you know? Yeah. Besides, like, 
Ocean's Eleven. Well, there was all so those when he popped up, jokes okay. about saving Matt Damon. You know, you have saving well, yeah, Ryan, exactly. Interstellar, The Martian. The Martian. I, there was like a fourth one. I'm trying to remember what it was. I don't recall, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it, it's a good movie. It's very confusing. Probably should watch it a second time. It's just very long. Yeah. What are you doing if this comes on? Uh, how close to the beginning is it? Uh, it's going to start in three hours, but you have to wait until it comes on. I will sit in front of the TV and wait. <laughs> the TV can't be on, by the way. That's fine. Why would I leave it on? That's a good point. This is foolish. <laughs> the waste of energy. Big time. Um, I'll probably watch it if I can watch most of it. If it's already like halfway, then probably not. Yeah, I I'm done with this movie. I'm done talking about this movie too. I don't want to. I hope <laughs> we is... never accidentally talk about Interstellar on the podcast again. But I will find a way to work it into <laughs> every single movie, and it'll make sense. I doubt it. I would I would be very impressed if you could do that once. Even just once? In the next episode, if you can bring up Interstellar, I will And be, have it relate to what we're talking about? Yeah, I'm not shoehorn it in, but if you can bring it up naturally, I will admit that you're the better man. Whoa! <laughs> you are that confident that I can't do it. Yeah, I'm... I, if anyone is listening to this and listens to the next episode, please tweet me and remind me how Taylor never brought it up again. <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to remember <laughs> this. But, uh, yeah, I, well, I, I'm going to change the channel. Um, but do you have a movie for that you want to see? Oh, man, I wasn't ready. No, kind of. Not really. Let me think about it. I want to see that. You know what? That's one. I want to see the new Mad Max movie. You haven't seen that? I haven't seen it because I never even saw the old ones. Uh, you don't need to see the old ones. It Does it relate at all? It, the old ones are nuts. You don't need to see them. The, nuts as in like they're not good? The storylines don't really matter. The first, the first Mad Max movie compared to the next two makes uh-huh. zero sense. Like, the first one, you start to see things falling apart. But then the second one is, like, completely just everything is gone and, you know. Oh, so it's like The Matrix. What do you mean? I feel like there was, like, a world that they built up in the first one. Mm-hmm. And then in the second one... They wanted me to believe that it's not been that long, but it feels like it's been so long. And, like, robots and machines have already taken over, and it's a bunch of chaos. And I didn't care for it at all. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I would say that's pretty accurate. Like, the first to the second Mad Max movies, you Uh would look at that and you'd be like, well, this has to be 100 years apart. And it it comes across as it's been, like, a year, maybe two. Like, it, like... Like, so much chaos. Yeah, the, just the difference in society is huge. Because in the first one, he's a cop. And he has a boss, and he works Spoilers. with other cops. <laughs> and in the second one, the whole world has just turned into anarchy and chaos and craziness. Nice. They're, they're decent movies, but you don't need to see them to see the new Mad Max, which is an exceptional movie. Is it a sequel to these movies or a remake? Uh, it's kind of like James Bond. Is it the same character? It's the same character, but the stories don't. Is he mad? He's very mad. It's just another story in the universe. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. It's like, you know how James Bond, you have different actors and none of the stories really line up. Like, I mean, the most recent ones kind of follow progression, but. All the ones with the same actors kind of do, but that's really it. Yeah. That's similar to once they change Mad actors, Max, so. it goes a different direction. Yeah. But, Which I'm fine with. Yeah, but yeah, you don't. You definitely don't need to see the other ones. I would highly recommend the new one. Highly recommend. I saw that one twice okay. in a week. Twice in a week. Yeah, that's how good I like. How much I like. I am on board. Yeah. 
Well, if you want to tweet us and remind us when and where and if we ever talked about Interstellar before this, you can get a hold of us at I Seen That Pod or me directly at Alan RJR. And I am at Taylor Enixon. And if you would like to support this train wreck of a show, you can go over to our Patreon. Clearly, we could use all the help we can get. You can go over to our Patreon and donate a dollar a month, and you'll get access to all the episodes a week early. Which is well worth the price, I would say. Yeah, so if you're listening to this episode right now, without the Patreon episode, you can go and find out right now if Taylor remembered to remind me about, what was it again? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, something about Interstellar. <laughs> oh, it's never going to happen. But if you're not, then you're way behind in the times and you're barely even a fan at this point. <laughs> thanks anyways. No, actually, thanks for listening, just in general. I don't know what Taylor's talking about. <laughs> yeah, no, when I said thanks anyways, it was not sarcastic. Really, really. Thank you so much you know, for all your support. When you use that tone, not it, sarcastic it, at all. It, it makes it really hard to believe that that's not sarcasm. <laughs> okay, let me try again. Not sarcastic. Wow, thanks, everybody. Wow, I'm just overwhelmed by the outpouring of support thank you so much for what you've done i'm not being sarcastic this is just how i think people oh 